Welcome back to Hair of the Dog, like real back. It's been like seven years or some shit. I don't count. This is Hair of the Dog. I'm your host, Jonathan Wickholm. And this, oh, hold on, let me check real fast. This is, that doesn't have words on it. This is Samu Ran. Samu Ran, okay. Uh, and you are a sales rep. Yes, of things that um, we are holding in our very hands, amongst other sorts of things like dreams and you know, my, f- my favorite part about uh, returning to the show is we used to interview artists uh, and artisans and people of quality, and now we've gotten to a point where uh, we are booking sales reps. Yeah. Uh, it well, is a... Uh, yeah. We're both scraping the bottom of the barrel. Fucking idea. Yeah. <laughs> Here's... Whoa! All right. Welcome back to Hair of the Dog. I uh, did you dirty with your introduction. We also cracked too early. Well, this was pre-cracked. 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 You can, you can crack. We don't always have to crack on camera, but I, li- I like your style. Crack together. Fucking That's always your, do crack together. Always crack. Uh, so, uh, we're going we're gonna to do a thing because your profession, other than just being a sales rep, is sales rep in beer, which is probably the funnest thing to sales. So uh, we are going to do a game uh, that is blind taste testing, uh, which you have a history of, correct? You have done events where you've had to do blind taste testings? Uh, Yes, and for some certifications also. It's necessary. Yes. Um, So what we're going to do is we're going to have you blind taste test these beers Mm -hmm. uh, because I know this about you and many in Chicago know you that you have an impeccable palate uh, and you uh, usually really know your beer better than most. Well, this is a great way to demonstrate that I'm wrong about that. So okay. let's let's uh, let's get after it. Yep. So uh, the point of the game is that you're going to taste test. You're going to tell us everything about it that you've deduced mm-hmm. from your taste, and then you have to tell us what it is. If you cannot get it correctly, I have to shoot a big old shot of alert. Um, mm. Well, mm. looks like liquid. Mm. Rome is modest. Did you give me PBR? I didn't give you shit. Did somebody give me PBR? No! <laughs> no. Oh, incorrect. Wait, I got excited about that. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, you're wrong. And I remembered, no, this is not fun. Am I deliberately wrong or am I not deliberately wrong? Honestly, no one will know. No one will know. Mm. I'm clearly another pale American light lager. Mm. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, it's less pale. Blueberry, cola, some cherry sort of blossom tea. Right, am I right? The one that typically throws the most of this sort of characteristic to me, um, that being a lot of that blueberry and cola and a little bit of extra alcohol, is typically Rochefort. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you get it? Yeah! You got it! Yeah! 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 But which Rochefort? Uh, the only one that matters because bigger is better, and that's the 10. Yes! Yeah! Okay. You got the brand. You got the brand. Let's get well. Nailed it. Also, another Belgian quad. Obviously, <laughs> uh, really nice carbonation on that though. That's good. Um, okay, mm, vanilla, <laughs> kind of earthy. Hmm, it's like perfume. Sensing something a little extra. Um, this time, did you actually give me PBR? Yeah. yeah! yeah! PBR. Yeah. Um, citrus, uh, which could be either just hop derived or possibly spice derived. If it is spice derived, that still sort of typically keeps it more in the Belgian frame. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wit beer, American. I might have a slight cheat on this, but it'll look bad if I'm wrong. Is this the White Space by Low Res? No. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. God oh, damn it. I didn't. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought how, how you'd you be better there? at this, man. You're really letting me down. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm just having a great time. Yeah, what? <laughs> Duval. Uh. Duval, Duval, Duval. The Dubs. All right. Shame yes, shame. please. Shame. 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 Mm. Also, lager. This one might be harder to track down. I hope it's not. Uh, it definitely is. It does taste European, though. Um, um, Full bodied, but tingly. Augustina? No. Ah! No. Oh. Fuck! Rom? Carlsberg. Uh, Probably the best beer in the world. The Berg of Carl.
<laughs> oh my god, am I like supposed to like? Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, so yeah, we're right. gonna so, have a we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna discuss a, a, a hey the dog a, a thing, mm -hmm. uh, and by thing I mean uh, a, a question series. It's up to you. Uh, or maybe um, a um, segment. <laughs> thank you. I'm trying to get there. Let me do it on my own. So uh, we're gonna do a segment. Don't look at it. I'm just. We're gonna do a segment. It's called "Would You Rather." Would you rather drink a Miller Lite, or would you rather drink Gamer Girl bath water? Bath water. Yeah, bath water. You drink bath water bath for water. Miller Lite. Bath water. Uh, next question. Bud Light. Would you wait, rather? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. Don't. Next question. Next. Would you rather drink Bud Light or a stagnant pond of water? You seem like a pond water guy. Um, Would you rather drink natural ice or stale orange juice? Is this one of your questions? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're a, you're a, you're a dick cunt. You're a dick cunt. Next question. <laughs> Would you rather uh, be forced to only drink Miller Lite for the rest of your life or support Russia in the war against Ukraine? <laughs> what is... No, no! All right, we're gonna play a game now, Samu, uh, called uh, Is This Metal? So I'm going to name a band, and you're gonna tell me if they're metal or not. Samu, first artist for you, metal or not, Cannibal Corpse. OGs. OGs? Quite, yeah. Um, lyrically, not exactly my thing, but at the same time, if you can make a career out of singing I Come Blood, then you figured it out. Yeah. Next band, Metallica. No. Next Scathing. Uh, next band, Venom. Also classic, yeah. Um, might be a hot take. I don't think their songs are very good, but influential, so. That's what I do, influential. Next band, The Carpenters. I was thinking you were going to say The Carcassers. That would be metal. Pretty metal. So, all right, wait, 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 wait. Idea. It's Carpenter songs, but covered in the style of Carcass. I'd be in that band. I'd be in that band. I'd be in that band. That'd be sick. Overkill. Overkill. Absolutely also. Yes. Classic thrash. Um, thank you, goat. Um, Next. Rammstein. No. Mm -hmm. That's, That's saucy. Neue, no, no, no. That's Neue Deutsche Harte. That's the genre. New yeah. German hard. Yeah. Not metal. That's industrial rock. It's heavy and has been covered by metal bands. Anybody who hasn't heard the Me Sugar version of Sugar sort of incorporation of Benzene, there we go. And Benzene does combust. So yes, if you haven't heard that, listen to that. We just polarized so much of our audience. Mm -hmm. It's fine. No. Next, Enya. Honorary, honorary member. Yeah. That's what I was feeling, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, it's pretty metal to do what she does. <laughs> it is, it is. So exactly, metal is not just the sonic component, it's also state of mind. Yep. And I would argue that Enya is one of the most um, profound doom metal artists of our generation. Fuck yeah, dude. I Who fuck with you. And say where the road goes. Next, dying fetus. Dying fetus. The fetus is very dead, which is quite metal, and the fetus is that, yeah. I would love to I would love to have a dying fetus Enya cover band. There we go. <laughs> dying Fenya? Who can say where the fetus goes? Yob. Yob. Well, um, Yob, uh, we have a bone to pick with you. Uh, yeah, you guys didn't get back to our uh, Instagram message, you fucks. Really disappointing. Smiley Cyrus. Yes. Yeah, fucking A, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Straight up, that's why I wrote that shit, dude. She's so fucking hard in her own weird way. Right. Next band. Uh, similarly, I guess, uh, Mayhem. Mayhem is the true mayhem. Um, Wolf Slayer Abyss, uh, Ordo Ad Keo. That, I would argue, is their finest crowning work. Last one. Last one for you. From me, Immortal. Mighty Raven Dark. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Um, Blashirk, uh, <laughs> the sort of crabby walks. 
the I've seen Immortal. And I'm jealous. The thing that I already knew that they were themselves, but when they came out amidst a sea of fog, and so when they came out in a sea of fog, <laughs> and Abath crab walked up to the microphone, and there, standing directly before him, I could see the outlines of his thigh muscles as he just sort of croaked into the microphone about nobody knows what. I realized in that moment, <clears throat> I've seen the face of God. <laughs> One twenty. I think the worst part about this is, is this is probably going to be the least fucked I am in any interview because you're a sensible human being. Samu, uh, I have so far uh, described you as a uh, beer aficionado uh, and a sales rep, which uh, tis true. However, um, that is not nearly. Uh, the descriptor to showcase the onion that you are with all of your wonderful layers. All about the peels. Peels. You used to be uh, in the arts or oriented as a music reviewer uh, and uh, mm -hmm. event photographer, correct? Uh, true, true, true. Yes. Um, spent quite a bit of time sort of kerfuffling about with uh, album reviews, concert photography. Um, the genre was more metal wise and mm, metal. probably started in 2006, I think. And. Yeah, was an interesting way to sort of step into the the world of that, which was shockingly easy to do. With what do you mean by easy? Uh, zero credentials, middling teens. There's no reason why I should have been capable or given the means to show up and talk to some of the great metal minds of that day and still this day. And yet somebody said, sure, yeah, uh, you want to work for free? I got you. Do you think that your uh, unfettered access at such a young age was due to uh, cavalier laziness of the industry or more so in a, 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 an invitational uh, nature? Both. Is death metal, well, death metal is all about the, the, the harsh and distorted vocals, but is it only about that or is there a deeper, you know, uh, agenda? I think that... Death metal allows itself to be absurd a little bit. One of the things that I discovered as I spoke with some of these legends is uh, that they were very serious about being specifically musical and wanting to create um, uh, a an environment, like an oral environment that was impactful and that was resonant and lasting and interesting. And yet at the same time, it was so dumb, for <laughs> lack of a better word, <laughs> that they had to grasp that they were um, being heavily distorted and sort of making the stupidest of sounds and um, trying to find any number of, of ways in which they could be as desecrating and obsessive and excessive as possible. And then an audience would listen to that and say, cool, I'm in for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll pay $30 to watch you sing about... I don't know, just, like, hour just hour. Um, necrophagy or whatever else it was. So, uh, do in the, after all of the discussion of how you documented uh, the metal genre known as metal, ah. uh, do you play said style? Um, I do. Um, it took some time, actually, to get there. But yes, um, there have been a few projects of different genres throughout the years. A little less <laughs> lately, um, but things take time, I suppose. And depending Anything on the... Goes. It's not the most obvious of genres. Mm. So it's, it's, it's not exactly as one would say, pop, punk, power chord player needed... Um, 
please be cute, you know? It, it, it has a more specific sort of feel, um, or sometimes it also has a certain sort of uh, trauma, I guess, because metal is not the most happy of things. But I think that also is a little bit of an assumption that uh, the metal sphere is always negative and unhappy uh which i think is wrong yeah um so you obviously like you've seen behind the scenes you've met the characters uh, sure, are they just yeah. as big and scary and shrieky as they present on stage or are they actually more sometimes human like um yeah sometimes they're uh quite literally just pumping iron in the middle of an interview and uh, talking about Danzig? Uh, uh, Belfagor. Oh, that B- makes sense Belfagor. too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes also they're sort of acknowledging that, yeah, we do this and we love this, but I'm also a plumber because metal because doesn't, it doesn't pay. pay. It, doesn't, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. Mm. Honestly, this is so, uh, rather why beer happened because at some point was playing music was reviewing music, was um, a photographer, a uh, concert and such. Um, but few people are invested in paying for art. No, oh, yeah, well, fucking 100%. As clearly you know. But music is assumed to be almost a public good at this point. That, mm. that there's, there's very little interest in actually... Um, spending money on musical artists because it's assumed to be just there. It's it's always available. And as such, uh, it's very difficult to make a living from that. Mm. And that was a moment that I <laughs> grappled with. Uh, however, one cannot download a beer um, as much as we try. And that's some of why I ended up here as opposed to there. So uh, you, since we're talking about beer, you have uh, brought a surprise of of a, of a beer. I have. Uh, at least that's what I'm aware of. I don't know any more than that. No, you're right. You're right. Right. <laughs> Take it out and see what you feel. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, one's open. Oh, shit. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's literally open. <laughs> Take care of that. Perfect. Figure it out. Yeah. Like, literally, look at it. It's just... It actually, absolutely is open. Yeah. Who knows what that actually is? It's our boys from Almanac. There it is. Almanac Brewing. Correctly. Uh, good, good chaps. Um, where's Almanac Brewing from? Uh, Alameda. Oh, wow. They really sent a fucking ton. They this did. is fucking great. Yes, correct. Yes, this is <laughs> it. Love this. this is it. Further, look they further, sent a look note. Further, look further. Thanks again for the visit. Hope to see you soon. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for being on this show. Um, thank you for being my first return guest. You fucking cunt. <laughs> I try to try to be respectful. This is what I get. Thank you for being my first return guest. You are. You're a dear friend of mine. Uh, I, thank you for doing this bullshit. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it was correct. I was trying to be nice for the show. <laughs> How do you do? How do you uh, do? Thanks for doing this shit with us. This, is, uh, this has been a stupid time. Uh, I don't know why I'm bringing the show back. Uh, thank you to Almanac. Uh, thank you to my crew, James. Uh, and what's your name? Josh. <laughs> We somehow roped my friend Kevin into doing this. Also, Kevin's the reason I'm doing this. This will be heavy. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing Hair of the Dog again. Get fucking used to it, you fucking dicks. Here it is. Fuck Yay. you. <laughs>